Hello, my name is Blossom Goodchild and I'm a self isolator. <laughs> I am indeed self isolating after my time in Hawaii, which was amazing. Uh, the dolphins surrounded us in the water, and when we were on the boat, we saw whales. It was like the entire sea life came around our boat and felt our light. Um, even, may I say, hammerhead sharks. Did I get in the water with those? No. But many did. Many of our group did. It was amazing. Apparently there was about 40 of them and uh, we could see their fins, you know. Do, 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 do. And uh, two members of the group were back a bit in the water um, from the other group and this one shark just came up to them just to say hello, just to give their energy, their light, perhaps coding to them. And there were five of us on the boat and uh, uh, the crew said they'd never seen this before. Like t two sharks literally came alongside the boat and almost surfaced so we could see them fully. And we all felt without doubt that they were just giving their light to us. You know, I never, had I thought of hammerhead sharks being light beings? No, but I do now. It, it was amazing to blend as one with the water and have the White Cloud and the Federation with us um, in the afternoons. It was absolutely enlightening for us all and preparing us um, to come back <laughs> and be in isolation. Um, I'm on day seven today and uh, yeah, it's, it's fine. I mean, you know, I think we all have to make the most of this. Um, the point of me doing this video today is because I am still getting quite a lot of emails about um, from people who are in fear. And um, so I thought it'd be nice for White Cloud to come through and just have a chat with people um, in order to help those who are in fear to let go of it. I know that many of you that are watching this um, are not in fear and we know why we're here and it's all going on. It's happening. It's happening, folks, at last, you know. Um, all this time we've been waiting, waiting. I've had so many emails over the years saying, Blossom good child, you know, when is this going to happen? I'm fed up of waiting, you know. Is it going to happen in my lifetime? And I'm happy to say it's here. I really know this in my heart. The change is here. Some people are asking, is this event the event? And it's like my, my thought on it, I'll see what White Cloud has to say, is that it's this is the, the preparation. This is a lead up to the change. Um, this um, amazing light in the sky that's going to come, this amazing wave of love. I don't know when that will be, nobody does, but I don't think it's going to be 10 years away anymore. <laughs> so I'm not going to go on and on and on. Um, I'm going to bring White Cloud through so that he can offer his wisdom to you. I might interfere now and then, have a bit of a you know, interaction now and then, um, should I need to. And then what my intention is, is that um, at the end, um, for him to do a little short meditation um, for people to remain centered and in their light and in their strengths. But I'll probably chop that and put it onto another video. See, I'm waffling already. Get on with it, Blossom. I will. Okay. Welcome, my friends. I have known her to waffle on a lot more than that. Uh, as you know, I would like to have laughed there, but I cannot sing and I cannot laugh through using Blossom's voice box. It is just one of those things we have not mastered yet. Yet when you consider over the 21 years almost that we have been working together, 
when I first came through, I could not open of her eyes. I spoke on a, almost an octave lower, uh, and uh, so many things. I just was like in a metal body because I could not do anything. Whereas now, uh, may I say, I even, I even, uh, thanks to Blossom, was able to swim in the water with a snorkel and goggles and speak in my native tongue to the dolphins. Uh, it was uh, rather spectacular. Uh, and an experience for me that I have not had before. Uh, there was another time when I was in the water wishing uh, a friend a very happy birthday, but that was in uh, the English tongue. It was as one was buoyant in the water, and I could not stay very long. Because, as I said, that blossom was all right, but I was getting seasick. <clears throat> My friends, you knew, you knew this time was coming. You have been told of it, you have been prepared for it. You have strengthened your being in light and in knowledge so that now it is here. You are the ones to shine your light to the planet. It is so important that you do this daily, because in doing so, in knowing the light of love that you are, as you send out that light, you are assisting not only all that is going on, all that is to come up, but you are assisting those that are in fear. And I'm sure each one of you know of somebody that is suffering from fear. It is not so much that the virus is as contagious as the fear. That is the real illness, because through that fear, it is more or less as if it can, it is activated and one manifests it to the self. Yet those who just know that they are immune, that their light shines out and that this uh, virus cannot affect them, they are the ones, like I am speaking to you now, that will assist by shining out your light. To those who still know all of this, for Blossom is getting emails saying that although they know this, that, and the other, and they have read all the channelings, etc., it is hard not to be in fear. But my friends, let the fear go. Let it go. Is this not why you are here for this very time, this moment. This is why you came, the strongest of the strong. The weaker ones could not be accepted to be here at this time because of what lies ahead. And I do not wish to scare monger, that is not my uh, point of view. But I say to you, this is just the beginning, this is phase one, if you like. And that which is to come 
is to get, as the Federation of Light said, is to get a lot more serious, a lot more threatening. Nothing to do with the virus. The virus will come and it will go. It will have had its time and will, it will have served well. That which is to come will affect the body, but not through illness, through shock to many, because that which is to be told, that which is to be revealed at last about your planet, will affect the human being. So this is why I speak to you this day to tell you to remain strong. How long, how long have you waited for this? So many of you, so many of you say, I do not know why I am here, what it is I am supposed to be doing. Well, believe me, as the days go by, you will know. You will have to put calmness and peace out there into your world, either via meditation or by those that you need to speak to. You have to let everybody know that after all of this, the light will shine so brightly. Many of you may have had times when you feel the light shining through you and you feel on top of the world. That is the light, the level of light that you can feel in a world that is overcome with darkness. Imagine now, imagine how that light will and can be offered to you and by you and through you and as you when the darkness has left your planet. When the darkness has left your planet. Such joy such laughter, such kindness, such generosity, any word you can think of that serves the greater good. It is all coming your way, but on a level that you have never known in this lifetime and many of your lifetimes, because the darkness was ruling your planet. How extraordinary this time ahead. How incredible. You will feel as if you have been reborn and in a way, without going into detail too much uh, to blow your minds, in a way you will be reborn. I expect I'll get many emails about that. <laughs> Had to say that, otherwise I couldn't concentrate. The fact is, when you feel the way you are going to feel, you will know exactly what I mean. Freedom. Freedom of your souls. And that release of the darkness that encompass you will allow you to walk in light and love in a way that you have never done before. So during these following times, and we cannot give how long this will all take to play out, but during these times, 
when you feel that it is all a little too much to take in. Allow yourselves to shed tears, allow yourselves to be angry, allow yourselves to release all that you need to. But then know, know that the joy that is coming to you will be like nothing on earth that you have experienced before. It was that I um, felt that we were going to do a meditation afterwards, but I'm feeling now that that really is at this point um, all that White Cloud needs to say and that he'd like to just go into a meditation. So let's do it. <laughs> Blossom is correct. You know, may I finish in the sense of that you know, you know who you are, you're remembering now who you are. And as the darkness dissipates, even more and more of your true self shall be recalled and shine through you. The time has come. You will see at the end of the rainbow why this phase had to be brought out into the open. And it will be so ugly. I will prepare and warn you of that. Uglier than you can probably, possibly imagine even for those who thought that they have researched and know a great deal, there will be more to come that will shock those who think they know. So imagine what it will be like for those who have no idea, no idea at all about what is to come. This is where you come in, my friends. This is when you take action, this is what you came for. And you will serve love to the highest degree. Watch yourselves change and become stronger and more knowing and recognizing that feeling of this is it. This is what we have been told. This is why I am here. You will feel it. You will connect with each other on other levels. And one more thing. Laugh. 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 Find laughter. So much laughter has come out of this indoor lockdown, has it not? Keep in laughter, for it is the greatest healer. And so it is that I will close on this. And we will go into 